Ladies and gentlemen, how the devil are we all doing? It's TNG, and in this video, we're going to be taking a look at this build I've put together for the Great British Build-Off Challenge. Simply, simply lovely. Now, I'm guessing that a lot of you don't know what this challenge is, but we'll discuss the ins and outs of it towards the end of the video. For now, all you got to know is we got challenged to build this, and um, yeah, this is... Um, <laughs> This is what I came up with, and bearing in mind I've not been building in a long time, so yeah, it's not the best, but I think I've done an alright job, it kind of looks like the picture-ish. I'm not complaining too much, believe it or not, the only major problems I had whilst building this was a lack of medieval decoration. So when it actually comes to deco later on, I have had to take, you know, a few creative liberties. Uh, but yeah, other than the decoration, the structure itself, really, really simple to do, surprisingly. The only tricky bit was these covered bridge pieces up here, and how to place them in any location. You know what, sod it, while we're here, I might as well give you a quick little tutorial, Anna. It's really dead simple. Place down the full-size covered bridge piece, the one with the stanchions on the bottom. Snap down two of the smaller pieces to the big piece, like so. Place down an item of floor decoration. I like to use the mats, but you can use things like ducks, for example. And then simply create a blueprint of the two smaller covered bridge pieces and the floor decoration you've put down. It's as easy as that. Now you've got covered bridge pieces you can place anywhere. And they do make for some really cool... I don't know, the, the, the pointed roofs uh, are a nice thing to have in the building, because obviously we don't have that in, um, <laughs> in the build menu. So yeah, nice little trick to know. Now another little trick I can share with you is how I made these windows here. And you can use this for making things such as TVs as well, or placing pictures on floors, for example. All you got to do is find the picture you want. I'm just going to use this for the time being. It's got a nice plane back on it, and I'm going to place it on the outside of the wall like this. On the inside, I'm again going to take a little duck, I'm going to place that down, and I'm going to blueprint the duck and the picture frame. Once we've got all that done, you can see that we can now place down this blueprint and have the picture facing the opposite way around. On this build, I used it for windows, but again, you can use it for TVs and that kind of stuff. Really simple to do and a good one for having your arsenal. And a massive thank you to Silver Bunny for showing me that one. It's a much simpler way than I used to do it. Now then, let's take a look at the interior decor that I've done. And I'll just say that the filming was very difficult because the rooms are so small. There's not actually much space to decorate in this build I put together. So I have done my best, but yeah, it's um, <laughs> it's not my finest work. And as you all know, I'm not the best of decorators, but here it is anyway. Th the idea behind this was that it's an old... It's an old, like, Renaissance fair piece, you know, because it looks medieval, doesn't it? Ah, of course it does. And again, in my mind, it's been taken over by settlers or raiders. It's somebody in the wasteland. Now, in this little room here, I've tried to make it, like, a planning area. This would have originally been a ticket booth where guests could walk through and, you know, get into the Renaissance fair kind of thing. Um, yeah, I have no idea why I've chose this. Um, no reason whatsoever. But I think it's turned out all right. It's uh, nothing too difficult either, guys. Really simple to do. But again, I think it looks bob on. So again, sticking with the Renaissance Fair kind of theme, in this room over here, I've turned it into like a supply room. And as we all know, if you're into the Fallout War, the Great War actually started just before Halloween. So again, I've got it like this place has been planning an Halloween event, and that's why all this shit's in here. But obviously now it's just pretty much abandoned. I did put a little weapons room in the bottom there. That isn't anything special. Um, <laughs> it, it's not great work, that I will admit. But there you go. Every guy's got to have a weapons room, have not they? Anyhow, the final room I've got to show you is the living quarters. And that's up here. Again, really simple. Nothing too difficult. I've not gone mad with merges or anything like that. It's just... Um, really basic decorating but i think it works for the overall theme it is scrappy it's quite law friendly well as <laughs> as law friendly as it can be trying to build a medieval buddy castle but yeah this is the best i could come up with ladies and gentlemen now just a little bit more info on this challenge it's one hosted by me and lucy jane and there's quite a fair few british youtubers taking part in it there's obviously myself lucy jane milney 1983 vix w87 Shawzo and Dazmi007. Now, the way we're going to do this is the most votes in Discord is going to be the winning build. 
So for any of you who wants to, you know, cast your vote on it, I'll leave a link in description to my Discord and Lucy's. And I'll also leave links to all the other guys partaking as well. So you can go and check out their videos. Anyhow, I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, sorry it's not much of a tutorial or anything, but I I'm quite happy with it. Anyhow, Mon Petit Fleurs, I shall love you and leave you, and I'll catch you in the next one. Oh, and again, just make sure you go and check out the other guys. The, the link's in description. You trust me, they're going to come out with some mad shit. You won't regret it. Have fun, everybody.